Welcome to Biodiversity Research Institute's Common Eider Tracking Project Update. Lucas Savoy is here to explain the project. Enjoy. So Lucas, everyone's really excited about this new project. Do you, could you uh, comment? Yeah, I'm a biologist with Biodiversity Research Institute. My focus is waterfowl and as of recent sea ducks. Um, I've initiated a study here in Maine with funding from the Maine Outdoor Heritage Fund to look at common eider movements that are breeding in Maine. Um, the purpose of the study is we want to figure out how these animals are moving on a daily basis and on a seasonal basis in relation to wind power. Um, this spring we, we collaborated with folks from Maine Inland Fisheries and Wildlife and University of Florida College of Veterinary Medicine. We had a couple vets fly up from Florida to work with us to implant satellite transmitters in four common eider hens that are nesting in Maine in Casco Bay. Um, so in mid-May we went out to an island in Casco Bay, Maine and captured four incubating hens and put satellite transmitters in the birds. Um, right now our data is, is live. So we chose four healthy hens that were captured on nest and that were fit to go under surgery to receive one of these transmitters. And the transmitter goes inside with a small antenna that comes out of the bird. And the, the trans, we'll receive transmissions every five days during the breeding season. And then starting in November, during the fall migration and the wintering period, we're going to receive transmissions every two days. And what we're trying to capture is how are these birds moving from near shore feeding areas during the day and mornings, as opposed to where they're spending the evenings, where they're roosting at night. Some researchers have found that eiders and other sea ducks are moving great distances offshore at night to roost. And some species are hanging closer to shore, so we want to see what the common eiders here in Maine are doing. That's great. Um, the transmitters will last for at least 12 months, so we'll get lots of data that'll be live on our website. To learn more about this project and check the location of the eiders, visit brilune.org slash wildlife tracking.